policies and procedures that do that we do not talk to what's going on folks auditing america guys i don't know if someone's done this before but i don't think it's ever been done so here i am auditing the guam police department this is a united states territory so these people have to uh protect the united states constitution the guam police department take an oath to protect the first amendment the entire constitution so we're here in guam and i'm scared of shit so let's see if they respect our first amendment have very nice police departments. I mean, police department vehicles, I mean. I'm sure they have a very good budget. This one's a little beat up. Now we're in the back of the police department. Oh, wow. Let's see what we got here. How's it going? Can I have your name and batch number, please? Um, is there a reason why you're recording? Yes. You, if you can see the sign right here, you're not supposed to be recording this. In this why, why is that? Let me see. We have thousands watching. I'm doing this for news purposes. No problem. Um, I mean, this is a public place. You guys are uh, supposed to protect the Constitution, correct? So what about the First Amendment, freedom okay. of the press? So, how can we help you? Can you help me with information about uh, the training that officers get in regards to the Constitution uh, when you take an oath? You can speak to our PIO. We can give you her number. You can speak to her about that. Is there a supervisor that I can speak with? Okay. Because this is a public place. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, sir. But this is a public place. And, sir, I come from very far. To, to see if the Guam police indeed respect the United States Constitution. So if you guys, I didn't read it, but if you guys have a policy, yes, there's a that's- policy, Like how you, you're in the precinct prior to you coming into the precinct, we do have to search your bag. What about the Fourth Amendment? I'm not committed, I okay, mean- but we did, it, it's posted here, sir. Sir, but I, I understand, but we're, I'm, I'm speaking in regards, I mean, I don't have anything illegal on me. I mean, okay, you, you know what I'm saying? I do, sir, because we have. Okay, I'll have you wait outside that for us. Can we speak outside? Sure. All right. It's even listed here on I, the gold. What law is that? Right here. So that's an inconstant. Okay, mm -hmm. where's where does it say I can't film? Control substance, fire, munition, deal, whatever, law. Would you like to speak to supervisor? It doesn't, supervisor? it doesn't say anything about video recording, sir. Okay, but would you like to speak to supervisor? Yeah, but you're saying it says it right here, but it doesn't say anything about video recording or being, sir. Yep. Yeah. Okay, sir, we have rights. 
and the people of Guam have rights and there's thousands watching. Okay. I'm not here to harass you in any way. I'm here to see how much the Guam police actually respects the constitution. Okay. I'm specifically here for that. So if you guys are searching everybody that goes in the building, that's against our rights. We have the fourth amendment. Unless somebody's being suspected of committing a crime, you need the law says that you need to have reasonable articulable suspicion that a crime is being committed, has been committed or is about to be committed. And you guys want to search everybody? <laughs> Okay, I'll have uh, senior officer speak with you, okay? I Please. Know, I know someone who can better explain to you. Please, because I want to give a good name to the Guam police, you no know? Problem. I don't Thank you, sir. I don't want... Uh, is, is it okay if I just get your personal name? Or, or at least just your name? Well, I, just, just, I, just, will, just your name. I will. I uh, will to, to your superior, sir. Okay. But just call me good citizen for okay. now. Okay, Mr. Good Citizen, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you Atan, seat, right? Yes, Officer Atan. You can just have a seat over here. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, no rights in Guam. He said, it says it right here. But it says controlled substances, firearms. You know what I'm saying? Uh, doesn't say anything about cameras. And obviously, no police department could just search anyone that goes in the building. So we're gonna speak to we're gonna speak to the to the chief or his supervisor. Hopefully the chief. This is crazy. Oh, this is worse than I thought. <laughs> he said, Do you mind if I search your bag? Yes, of course. like somebody's gonna come out wow I feel sorry for the people of Guam these people want to search Search an ID. Search ID. Wow. This needs to be exposed. Hi, Sergeant. I'm Sergeant Meinberg. What can I do for you? Sergeant Meinberg. Um, I was. Uh, I came from very far from the mainland. I am a news journalist, and I have thousands of people are watching right now. I'm not trying to. Uh, be rude in any way okay. but this is a police department and this is the united states this is the police station yes it is correct so any police department in the mainland is welcome people are welcome to go in there without having to waive their fourth amendment well we have law here but you can't you're that's not okay. it doesn't say anything about the camera and it doesn't say anything about me waiving my fourth amendment right to uh, my privacy ma'am we can conduct business with you guys and you don't have to know who, who we are you're here to ask questions and the only thing i'm going to advise you to do is our headquarters is in season okay you can gps it i understand what you do what you do is we have a public information officer that is the person you speak to i'd like to come i understand and i appreciate that um, I'd like to conduct business here, though, and without waiving my rights. So you what so business are you trying to conduct? I'm trying to uh, do a public uh, inf uh, public records request uh, form. I'm trying to collect one if you have one available, and I would like to uh, official. Yes, I would like to officially uh, request information on the training that you guys are receiving on the United States Constitution because. The people of Guam have rights, ma'am. You can't just say, I need to search your bag. I need your uh, ID. You can't film. It, it, he said that the, it says right there that you can't film. It, it, it does not. Where? Okay. Okay. It, I, it does not. Let, you know, you want information as far as 
how our trading is conducted and whatnot, I already had given you that information. I know, but you swore to protect the Constitution. That's what I'm okay. saying. So you, as a person, ma'am, as a police you, officer, yes. you swear when you become yes. a police officer. You, 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 know, you, you really sound like you're, you're, you're distraught here or bothered. But if you want I am because I am. If you want information, like I already explained to you, our headquarters is in Teton. You speak to our public information officer, he will provide all the inform information you are requesting. So you, okay, so just to get this straight, you guys are searching everybody that comes in here and you want to know everybody's ID and you can't film, correct? Yeah. Officially, you're officially saying sir? that openly on sir? camera. Sir? Is every, this the same rule for every uh, every, every village? Precinct, every precinct. Every village? Every precinct. We only have four precincts on the island. We want we have one down south, one in central, here to Muni, and one in Dededo North. Okay, so please, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying to speak to your chief. What's the name of your chief? Chief Ignacio. Ignacio. Yes. Okay, Chief Ignacio. And, and he is at the headquarters awesome because that, that's, so that's where you go because you know the people questions. because this is tyrannical behavior ma'am yeah. <laughs> we have a public information officer we have our own policy policies and procedures that do that we do not talk to news uh officials correct but this is this is a this is a thing ma'am that we're speaking about daily citizens walking in here and 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 exercising their rights mm -hmm. and you guys are getting everybody to waive them for what reason do you want to search people you know weapons but oh, oh, what the Second Amendment? But ma'am, you you okay. unless you, unless someone's commi committing a crime or being suspected, mm -hmm. we have freedoms. This is not of North course. Korea. Of course, this is the United States. Of Guam course. is the United States, ma'am. Of course. So. And I had given you the directions, okay, to who you need to seek to ask to have your answer your your questions answered. Okay. Okay. I so, will be I will be trying to speak to. Do you guys only have one chief for the whole? Uh, yes, for the whole island. Yes. Okay. Okay. Chief of Police, yes, Chief Stephen Ignacio. Well, we're, we're gonna have to, uh, Stephen Ignacio is gonna be receiving a lot of phone calls, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. Because you see, the people, like I said, the people of Guam deserve to enjoy their rights as American citizens. And I'm if, sure they are. No, they're not, because once you come into the police department, you wanna search an ID. And our rights are to keep our stuff in private and to uh, document and have business with the with the government uh, anonymously, ma'am. And, that, and that's who you need to conduct your business with, sir. But you swore to protect it. That's what well, I'm saying. Trust me, I am protecting the island and the people. And I'm not saying you're not. Okay, but if you want questions, you want your questions answered, right? This is where I had directed you to go. I understand, but ma'am, you uh, you are a very nice person. I'm not saying that you're not, and I'm uh, and I'm sure you've done a lot of great things for for the city of Guam. And the, of the island, island of, Guam. island of Guam. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you know, ma'am, the main important thing here is to protect the the citizens of Guam. And we do. But what about the first and and the second and the third, ma'am? Do you know what the third amendment is, sir? I, I will be leaving. I will be leaving right now. But sir, do you know what the third amendment is? I am not to answer any of your questions, okay? But you if guys you, are public if, servants. If you want questions answered about how this department runs about how we protect the public, about our own training, I really direct you where to go. Okay, no problem, ma'am. But just please, when you go back, go inside and, and check out, brush up on the Constitution, ma'am. We have rights. And and I, I'm sure no one's doing these videos here because uh, by the way, by your body language and the way that you guys are reacting to a regular citizen walking up to the police department, you guys want to search. This is not North Korea. We're not in, in any of those. Uh, we're not in Cuba. You know, we're in the United States. So you guys, this is my daughter knows this, ma'am. Mm -hmm. My daughter knows. Do you know what the Third Amendment is? Sir, I'm not answering any more of your questions. Just so I can I be able to direct you where to go. Okay. okay we have policies and procedures that we don't talk to the media okay everything and is why wouldn't you talk to the to the media I about it we have policies and procedures that we do not speak to the media why this is public information your policies are, should be right open to us ma'am like the citizens of guam pay for all this you know, you, you you are just being repetitive Ma'am, because we're you're making me repetitive. Because a lot of people went to war and died for our rights ma'am so did my family so imagine Imagine that you, so you, you need to, you need to eat even more, ma'am, mm -hmm. because if your family will go to war and die for, uh, for our rights, yeah. you need, uh, you need to, uh, do the same thing, but you're, you, you, you're getting people to waive them, but I, I, you seem like a nice lady. I'm going to let you go. 
uh, just please brush up on the Constitution. L let your officers know okay. that that you know we have rights and and well, yeah, it's it's just not nice to the people, you know. I'm not here to give you a hard time. I will never break the law okay. because I'm at work. Well, I'm glad you're not going to break the law. Oh yeah, I'm a nice guy. I wouldn't want to have to intervene. Oh, if I broke the <laughs> law, yeah, of course, you know that anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm all about you guys uh, upholding the Constitution yes. and protecting and serving well, and, and, said, and obeying the law. You, okay? No problem, ma'am. It sounds, it sounds a bit repetitive. So. Yeah, but, but it has to be because, you see, your family died for this. Yeah. And, and, and imagine if imagine, everybody stopped. Every police Im officer here has family that's in the military. So imagine if, if your family went to war for nothing because you have the daughter or the niece, Mayenberg, doing the opposite. You can't do that, Mayenberg. You're a nice person. You're a nice lady. I can tell. Okay? But thank you, ma'am. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, change well, this policy soon, ma'am, because you, 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 you protect know, the law, if, not if the you policies. If you phone on the GPS and you type in one police headquarters, it's going to direct you right to its location. Igna Ignacio. Ignacio. Chief Ignacio. Chief Ignacio. Okay. Thank you so much, okay. ma'am. You have a good day, okay? You too. Take care. That's why Mr. America does what he does. Guys, we're in Guam. We're going to continue doing this. We're about to go meet up with chief ignacio who agrees and approves of people's rights being taken away upon entering the police department where your rights should be protected more than anywhere else guys share like and subscribe to auditing america find auditing america on instagram find us on facebook everywhere everywhere shout outs to lindsay speaks shout outs to heather ray everybody much love and respect see you on the next one